One of the last things I actually want to go over with you here, we're almost done, but, but we're getting there, is there's actually going to be some things that you ignore in a data file that you really just don't need. But here's the bad part. You've got to read it in. But then after you've read it in, you just ignore it and you just don't use it. So an example that I have right here, I must have a file that has a last name. I have a string that I'm going to ignore. You can tell by the variable name. And I must have two integers that I end up apparently going to put into a, a scores array. So pretend that I've already done the try catch. Now I'm in my while loop. While loops looks the same. We have in file dot next line just to check to see if there's a line that's in there. If there is, we go ahead and grab the data from the line, which is our string line in file dot text line. You've seen that before. And you've seen the next line, which is a tokenizer. Grabs the entire line, breaks it up into little pieces. So I want you to notice though, Every time that you see me use a tokenizer, I do the next items in order because that's what the file is dictating. The file must have the last name come first. The file must have something that I'm ignoring in the second line, and then it must be have a score for a third, uh, for a third item or third token, and then another score for a fourth token. How can you tell? It's because the order that I'm putting things in. I, I can honestly tell you, you know, when I'm doing this for real, I, I'm, I'm putting everything in order because, hey, some data files change. That's okay. I have an order here. I could just easily swap things up if the data file happens to change slightly. But the order that we have here is really important because, frankly, of next token. And next token is going to be is very orderly. It's going to grab the next token that's out of the tokenizer list. And if you don't have that matched up correctly with the data that you want, well, it's going to go ahead and try to parse or change an item to an integer that might not be an integer. So be very careful on how you lay things out. Now again, going back to the ignoring data part, I still had to read it in. I still had to get the next token just to put it into a variable that frankly I don't do a darn thing with. There's no way of exactly um, skipping a token here. There is, but eh, we'll talk about it later. Frankly, a lot later. So here's the easy way of just ignoring it. We're still gotta read it in. We're still putting it somewhere. But then, just like my children, they'll just ignore me once they have me in a certain spot. They move on and do the rest of it. And that's exactly what's happening with the variable ignore. I'm not doing anything. I'm not doing any conversions. I'm not putting it in, into anything. I just put it as a temporary safety holder. And then I move on. And because of the while loop, I'm going to do the exact same thing over again. And whatever that second piece of data is, putting it in a variable and then leaving it alone from there. That's how you can ignore data and file. So it's not a... There's not a nice way of doing that other than, frankly, you're still going to have to read it in and then in order after that.